Hello YouTube, it is uh, me once again, back with uh, the long haul, we're on episode 41. Just been uh, doing some uh, research, uh, research gathering here for the past in game hour, just trying to get more stone for concrete mix. Completely ran out again. It, you know, I would say I'm surprised by how much concrete mix I go through in, in this area, you know, base building, but I really can't say I'm all that surprised. It's especially considering the size of the base. Um, I have gotten most, I have gotten a fair amount of the upgrades done for the, for the, uh, for the rolling catwalks here, you know. As you can see, it's like one side's been, been turned into concrete. Oh no, we got a screamer. Joy! Hi, Screamer. How are you doing? There we go. Have... <laughs> I wonder if she screamed. Um, let me actually drink a little bit of water here. But, um... Yeah, I've just been working on getting more of this done. It's... You know, it's a slow but sure progress. I was thinking, you know, maybe if I did, you know, like, I was hoping in the last episode to get the... Get the, uh... Get the base kind of finished up, but it's like, yeah, because it's being more resource intensive, we got more screamers. Um, you know, it's, it's just being a, I was hoping, you know, like maybe do a little bit of like, you know, an out of town loot around here, but it's a, um, but, you know, it's just being all the time-consuming stuff in the world. Um, let's see how much more we got going. I know I'm really cranking up kind of the heat on this with around here, but, uh, I have more... I got 390 concrete tuned up there, yo. We got another... Like, I got, like, 900 gunpowder total. Um, thankfully this is all done over with. Well, all the uh, lead in there is done. I'm just kind of working on uh, making more bullet making materials. Uh, with those uh, smell tin. But um, let's try to. I figured let's try to get these uh, walkways done. They're not going to be in their final form once they're done, but. You know, once it's. It's like. We'll start moving on to getting the rest of this all finished up. It's a... You know, Screamer's spawning, I'm like... Hey, bring him on. I don't I don't mind him at all. I will gladly take the company around here. If it is a little bit dangerous. I'd rather have, uh... rather have company and... You know, misery being my company than... You know, being lonely. Girl walkers, cops. Hey, you name them, I'll, I'll take them on. No matter how many times I die, I will gladly, uh... I will gladly take them on. I uh, just want to do some more. I started reinforcing, uh... This ramp, you know, just to get it done. We'll get it at least somewhat built up for Horde Night again, because zombies were causing damage. Oh! Would you look at that? Couple little bits of... Couple little bits of, um... Stuff that they broke out. Um, I should not have put the hammer away, but... It's kind of one of those, if they come in from the south, it's just kind of inevitable. Zombies being zombies. It's just a little bit of uh, that little old thing, but you know, just trying to do the maintenance on this best as I can. Uh, I think this should be about good, yo, because they're really only gonna beat up on the. Uh, they're only really gonna go beating up on the the base levels here, just kind of just to. Uh, because they can't really climb, unless it's a spire zombie doing spire zombie things. Oop. Don't, don't break that up. Yeah, 
it's it's just kind of come along. We're just trucking. And I do want to remind you folks here, if you do want to watch the series live on, you know, and chat with me personally, which, you know, it, you know, I really would appreciate if you do, you know, check out, um, you know, the link in the description below for my Twitch channel. It's like, uh, it's, uh, I stream, uh, about, uh, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's a, you know, three days a week, you know, but it's like, it gives you guys the advantage of, uh, it kind of gives you the advantage of having a, you know, you get to watch the series early because I do record these a couple weeks in advance, but, you know, I, I do want to build a little bit of community over here. Um, uh, more, more cement powders coming out. Um, instead of focusing on that, let's actually just work on this a little bit. Just get a little bit more of the walls done, you know. We get the nice, gorgeous view of uh, what used to be the banks. Uh, used to be the bank out there, got torn down. And, yeah. Oh, we're out of concrete already. See what I mean by the concrete going out? Uh, you know, kind of going out really quickly? It's unfortunate, but hey, what can I do? Um. We're looking okay on on cement powder. Well, stone for the time being. We'll inevitably need more, but I'm actually gonna do more kind of resource collecting. You know, try to get some more stuff together. You know, try to get more bullets made and everything. You know, and so I will catch up with you folks on YouTube in a little bit. Well, YouTube, uh, I was collecting some resources and I realized, like, you know, maybe I should go check up on Trey Wrecked. See what he has in stock. So I decided to roll on up to his place and see what he's got for sale. I did bring, bring some sellables, a uh, variety of stuff. Trey Wrecked, how are we doing, big boy? Everything's for sale, even to an idiot like you. Okay, you don't, you don't need to, you just need to calm down there, big guy. No, I realized, like, I looked at the cans of sham, and I was like, because I, like, I knew, like, I was like, I wonder how much some cans of sham will sell for, because I know they, I don't eat them. Beer goes for 60 bucks a pop, so that's nice to see. Nice uh, little high-value item I could sell. I knew beer was a valuable item. Uh, we'll sell him that leather duster, we'll give him... That black leather duster sells for a thousand bucks, you know. Give him some more. Give him all the sham. Yeah, it was, like, worth, like, 700 bucks. I'm like, like, wow, I did not know that was so, um, so lucrative. It's like, I know you can't make sham on this version, at least. Like, uh, on PC, I know you can make sham. Kansas sham, but, uh. Anyways, let's see what he's got for me today. Um, you got 7.62, and... The only real thing I could see myself wanting... Maybe is, like, if he had, like, some bullet tips to... To make, uh... To make for, uh... You know, make ammunition with me, because... That's the one thing I'm missing a lot of. Some nice auger parts. Uh, you got hunting rifle. Missile parts they don't need. Shotgun barrel, no. A nice SMG. Uh, it's, but it's not the it's not the part. Well, it doesn't have the good parts I'm looking for. Ammunition oh, is a pretty expensive. Me, huh? Well, maybe you should try Shamway. Taking a look at my at my better barter skills here. Uh, I was gonna say, if I if I really felt like it, I would I could invest into the last level of, uh, well, get myself up to the last level. I'm just kind of looking here. Um, we got Palm Pete. Not really, not really much to invest into. Um, actually can invest into Boomstick. 
And then... I was gonna say, like, if I... Ow! I don't have enough points for I was gonna say, I would invest into you better lead than dead, but... Hey! Not, um, you know, unfor let's just take one last little look here. Even to an idiot like you. Uh, does he actually have, like, coal in stock? No, sadly. That's okay. No real big deal. Although the auger parts are... The auger parts are tempting. But then again, I don't really use an auger. Ah, oh, whatever, Trey Act. But yeah, I was just wanted to take a look there. You know, figured... See if he had that, that AK parts I was looking for. Sadly not, and I'd be tempted to go go fly up to Tree or Jimmy, see what he has um, to offer, but, uh, you know, it's the day before the Horde, uh, you know, before Horde Day. I would rather do more of the, um, you know, I'd rather just kind of just hang out by the base and, you know, deal screamers and all that stuff, you know, all that jazz, cacti. But yeah, um, I'm not going to cut it just yet for you folks on YouTube, because I do want to show you, though. Because uh, on the overnight, I forgot to mention this to you. I did start making making myself uh, goldenrod tea and and uh, meat stew, so finally be uh, really uh, kind of getting our wellness gains. Uh, not too much more progress on the... Uh, on the concrete stuff, but, you know, just give me one second here while I jump in. There we go, like, loving the mini bike ramp. Yeah, you can see, like, got me the, got me the meat stew, and, yeah, two wellness points out of that, out of that. And let's see how much, see if we can get an extra point out of this. Uh, goldenrod tea. Because it does, because Goldenrod Tea at least gives me a little bit of wellness. There we go. 108. Very nice to see. We'll check, and I decided, I noticed I had a bunch of steel missing while sitting in a forge, so. I have more steel pickaxes, so I figured let's work on a little bit more investing into, uh, you know, my high level pickaxe to see if we can get a level 16. We got a little 502 steely, so. 518, we're probably going to be looking at like 550, and yeah, 550 exactly. I kind of get an idea of like how much quality level I get out of like certain combos, but yeah, looking really nice. Let's check out the concrete, there we go, more of that rolling out, you yeah, know, we're, we're constantly just looking at more of that, more of that rolling through. And we'll see how much more we can do. Ah, uh, that's... that's good. And... That's looking alright, and... I want to get the, uh, base a little... you know, the basic little bit here done. Um, Urch. There we go. That's looking nice. Can we get this wall done? Like, this little bit of the wall done, that's... Because keep in mind, every, you can see in the bottom right corner, it takes 10, 10 mix to, 10 mix to, uh, upgrade the blocks, and, wowie, oh, oh, we're just two blocks short, how unfortunate, that, that is, that really sucks, it's like, but hey, you know, like, we're, we're slowly, uh, we're slowly making progress. One thing I did do that, well, I should probably redo a little bit is it, I, it's only a little bit more concrete. It's not going to hurt me too much. That I forgot to do in the original, well, what I did in the original is to upgrade, uh, get some extra concrete supports. So we're... Looking at 
I think it's right here, and then we do... Yo, I like punching these out from the ladders. Because this is also going to be part of the horde, like, going to be part of the horde setup, so... Um... No, that's wrong. I can't, I can't believe I completely spaced this. Silly me. Nobody's perfect, though. It, that's the one thing that it's, you know, like, uh... Nobody's perfect. I always say this, you know... In real life, uh, we're all perfect in our imperfect ways. Um, it doesn't have to be completely symmetrical, it's just that I like being a little bit of, uh... Now I'm getting confused over here, but... Yeah, this, these uh, these will do just fine for, for having ladder supports and everything, like... I just kind of want to get the main supports done up and in the right style. So yeah, I'm gonna do more, just kind of work on more base base building progression, and I think we're gonna have a little bit of time-lapsing function here, so... I'll let you know once the time-lap is over. Well, YouTube, uh, in time lapse now. Uh, you can see I've done more uh, progress. Uh, got the got the ladders put in. Got the rebar frames placed up and everything. Uh, things are coming along swimmingly. We even got the outer walls and all this upgraded. It's it's just a fabulous time and for me. Um, I think in you know do a little bit of looting for for the day. Uh, it goes uh, goes away and you know I'm but you know while I'm talking here I'm just making sure I grab a few uh grabbing some wood poles here just crafting them up and uh because while the base is coming along really nicely I'm really happy with it I do need to make sure I grab uh a lot of uh um what am I trying to say I just want to make sure I have some pulls going. Yeah, let's let's just kind of go looking around for loot. It's a, you know, I get it. You know, been in the same town for how long? But you know, I at least try to make you know one trip a one trip a week. You know, out into the world, you know, see what we got for see what we got for you know, loot on that's not in this town, and you know, did have the. I I can start with the big trip of uh, run over to the town that's uh, north northeast of Hub, which is uh, a nice little area. Um, just give me one second, just drag it over here. Yeah, you know, we did come over to this town. You know, spent a day or two there. You know, this is one of those trying to make sure I have you know my horde my horde knights managed and everything. Um, I'll actually go check out Amicon. No, we already been in there. I was going to say, if, like, see if, uh, see how Amicon's going. Uh, we'll check this house here to be, yeah, you know, just to make sure. Um, that house has already been raided. I don't think it's respawned in. Respawned sloop. Let's actually go and check up on the prison just to see how it's doing. I doubt it's uh, 
I doubt it's respawned yet. But we haven't been around. Well, we passed by it a couple times, but I think it might have respawned. Let's just check. Oh, it actually has. Um, some schematics I'll take, yo. More points than armor smithing, yo. Never can turn it down. Um, SMG schematic, gunsmithing point, yo. Hopefully these corpses give up some decent magnet parts. Or some shotgun shells. I'm not gonna turn that down. Um, yo. Because I'm like, I could always use more magnum parts, so I'm like... 44 magnum is one of my favorite guns in the game, and, uh... It's like, because it's like, I have experience with 44 magnum. Uh, in real life. I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. Okay. Since I actually dropped down, we'll just chop through here, and then... Ah, just a couple zombies. They're just doing their thing. What you got for me? Ammunition, I will gladly take it. All the ammunition types I use. Zombies, oh, the game is being generous on ammunition. Yeah, you can see. Like I said, I've got to stay the steel arrows. I think those would be good for... It would be a good idea just to kind of have some... Uh, uh, wow, that was a jump. <laughs> Uh, what I was gonna say is, uh, it would be, uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to make some flaming arrows. I never really use them. I don't know, might have a, might have some uh, fun with those. Might not be the most effective, but sometimes you gotta have the fun factor. Hey, 426, 444 and back in peace. I will gladly take that. I can't remember, I think... I can't remember if that's one of my best magma pieces or not. I think it is, because I think I have a, I remember finding a purple version. But hey, it, it helps out. Um, break into here. Um, you know, just... You know, we gotta check out the main loot. And, well... Uh, more paper. More of that junk. No, nothing in the gun store can create. Really disappointing. Got another uh, shotgun piece and we're pointing to weapon smithing. Hey, a nice, uh, a nice uh, uh, shotgun piece. Why did I make 417 wood poles? Okay then. Um. Well, actually, and we never looted the. I made way too many wood poles. Eh, you know what? I'll keep them. I was like, why? Why did I make all these? Uh, we'll put some stuff in the mini bike and... Well, I since I haven't raid, raided them yet, because I never broke into them, not really interested in, uh... You know, just looking at, uh... Wasn't really interested in just breaking through a whole bunch of iron bars, but wouldn't be a bad idea just to check them for 44 magnum pieces. Let's make sure I checked up top here for for this corpse's uh, loot. I can't remember if I did or not. Um. Oh, I forgot about you. I'm sorry. More, uh, more thir uh, 32 9 millimeter. Always take it for the submachine gun. But yeah. Get, hope this shouldn't take too long with a high level steel pickaxe, <laughs> but uh, before I cut it, let's see how much damage we're actually doing with this thing. We are doing almost 400 damage with a with a steel pickaxe. That is really good damage. Yeah, you can see this is not going to take too long at all, so YouTube, give me a little bit and we'll go we'll check out the toilets, see if we get any toilet pistols. Well, YouTube, I'm almost broken into the cells. Actually, are I'm just gonna check all the toilets just to make sure you know we don't have any toilet pistols hiding in here. Probably just gonna find turds and all that. Oh, you didn't have anything for me. How sad. Well, as I was hoping to, you know, I always want some magnum pieces out of here. We got just mostly murky water. Oh, thank you. 
You actually gave me a magnum grip. Yeah, sometimes they just give out nothing, and it's like... But, you know, it is what it is. It's just how the cookie crumbles in zombie apocalypse. Um... I never... Oh, I didn't break in here last time I was surround raiding. Let's just check it out. I know nighttime's about to fall, but... You know, we can, we can take the time to do it. Um, toilet, nothing. What you got for me? Nada. Shame, shame, shame. And there's just more turds and murky water. Nighttime has fallen upon us. And there's more murky water. And would you look at that toilet pistol? We're dropping the... We're dropping that. Uh, nothing in there. Hey, at least out of, at least we got a toilet pistol and an extra magnum grip. But yeah, I'm gonna call it an episode, everyone. If you made it this far into the episode and and you enjoy, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel out so much more than you'll ever know. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.